bit busy myself right now. You two have made up. Fine. Thanks, OK, for letting me stay. To know what? Well, the police haven't come knocking, so... Ian hasn't gone to them, I suppose. I just need to find out if he's gone to anyone else. You are telling the truth. About last night, nothing happened. I mean, I'm not going to go back to the Vic and find Ian buried in the barrel still. I think I couldn't find him. I ain't promising I won't, though. Where is he, then? What are you doing here? Ian isn't answering any of my calls. Well, maybe he's gone for a coffee? No, no, I checked. He's not in the cafe. And none of the market boys have seen him this morning, either. That door wasn't even locked. Anyone could have helped themselves to anything. Look, he's, he's probably gone for a walk. He is a grown man. Yes. Who some lowlife tried to kill a few weeks ago. So he, he didn't tell you then, you know, his wife, that he was planning on going somewhere? I was out last night. And before you ask, it's none of your business. Well, if my son's in trouble, yes, it is. <coughs> like I've already said, he's probably gone out for a walk or something. And Kathy said you never saw him in the morning? No. Or last night? A bit weird, don't you think? I mean, he goes AWOL Max. and all of a sudden... Kathy, I get. She's his mum. But don't you think you're overreacting no, a bit? Not at all. No, she's worried he might have collapsed or something. I left her, she was calling round all the local hospital. All right! I'll make some calls too. If you haven't already. And then I'll give Kathy a call. The minute he shows, OK? Yeah. <laughs> 